Welcome back to Texas. We are getting ready for the open in Austin. I'm here with Brody and the Goose Man. Let's get into the back nine right now. Exhausted already, boys. Nine holes. Exhausted. Here's my question. Well, here are the golf balls. Why can't we get a golden golf cart? Oh you my know? gosh, a golf cart. Why can't we just whip around awesome. all day long in a golf cart? That would make this whole round, the whole experience so much better. We had a lot of fun on the front nine though. If you haven't seen that, go check it out on Brody's channel. They've made quite a few changes to this course. They've added like six woods holes, cut out some holes, combined some stuff, lengthened some stuff, shortened some stuff, cut down a bunch of trees. Check it all out. There's some stuff on the on the back nine too. We're gonna get right into it. Hole number 10 is a short, short hole. All right, hole 10 here is a 315 foot Island Green Paul 3 straight downhill as you can see. And uh, it's got quite the uh, Difficult drop zone, which we'll talk about when we get down there. But difficult drop zone. It's a crazy drop zone. Bro. Like you're if gonna, you go you're B, gonna, you're gonna love the drop zone on this hole. When you get down there, you're gonna see it. It'll blow your mind. It, oh, you gotta get over the uh, road. Yeah, you basically you want to kill us. If you land on the road and slide, that's actually not a bad play. I'm gonna go ring on top zone GT forehand. Look at this cat. I don't think it's far enough, Brody. As cool as the other side of the table. I don't table. think it's far enough. I don't think he ever crossed. The I'm, I'm gonna well, say he never crossed. Oh, <laughs> oh does it not matter? on the grass. Well, I want to show people the drop zone. That's why. But is this one where it's like if it, I gotta make sure. They are know. you drop zone no matter what OB shot? Mm, I don't know. It would make sense. Get freaky. <laughs> Join me. I almost landed. That never crossed. I almost landed on your disc. Cap wrap. Dude, I have not had, I've not been throwing the forehand good on this hole. Oh, that's good though. You just made it. Oh. Maybe it's a straighter zone? I'm gonna try, it, I'm gonna try a backhand straight. I never once got that one on the camera. No. <laughs> this big old, it's all good. White and red jersey that said Ezra on my way the whole way. I don't know, I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> I'm gonna be <laughs> honest with you guys. I have no idea what you're talking about. I thought this hole was a Team lot easier. Com. It's actually uh, not that easy, honestly. I thought this hole was a lot easier. But I think I know what I was doing wrong. I think I know what I was. Backhand. It's a backhand. It probably is a backhand. I probably will throw backhand. <sighs> I feel you like I'm doing trucks, this. Please? You think it's a forehand for sure? I feel like I'm doing this. <laughs> no, I hate that too, though. No, I don't hate it that bad. Oh, man. It's not bad. For the wind. I feel like it's scary with the wind, yeah. A little bit. Like that's just hard to keep that low enough. Well, that's, it has to tall though. That's why I hate the backhand. It just gets away from me so fast. Yeah, but with left to right wind, oh, well, I guess it'll be tailwind. <laughs> Boys! Oh. Oh, I didn't. It almost went in, guys. I didn't film it well. Goose is full That I think is just so, that's just so easy to miss right, short. Not if you're a goose man, though. Oh, wow, it shouldn't be that hole. Okay. That's your first one in a long time. It is, it is. <laughs> Good win for that shot. Oh! Oh. Literally. This should be the worst possible lie on an island. Why do they, why do they want to make disc golf a putting contest? I don't understand. Even, you don't like this? It's not even a risky putt. No. It's a putting contest. You don't like a 35 foot putt? With not a huge risk of OB? No risk. Like huh. there are gonna be people that actually land inbounds and take a worse score. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's a, it's a questionable one, but it's something. Okay, hold on, ball 11 is. Oh, it would be a thousand, thousand feet. foot. Yeah. A thousand foot <laughs> on the nose. It would be perfectly a thousand feet. Paul Fah, this is actually a really good Paul Fah last year. We teed off about 300 feet maybe off on the left side of the fairway, but now they pumped it back, made it a pole five. I think it's one of the best holes on the course because you can you can play risk reward and go for the eagle if you want to, but this fairway is super fast. You have to really manage the skip, especially on those distant shots, or you can chip a forehand or a mid-range and then kind of lay up and play for the body. I'm gonna probably do both, I guess, kind of show the whole thing, but I think it's a great hole. That's pretty nice of you. Well, the people want to know, you know. Nice guy. Somehow he's going to throw another absolutely perfect on it. What are you talking about, Goose? Uh, is that a whole shot? 
You expect I me to throw that actually was did, I can't believe well, you just did that. The wind makes it that wind makes that very Yeah, I can't believe you did it. <laughs> oh, it hurts so high. <clears throat> just don't throw it that high. That was that a mid? Yeah. Let me see if I can go for this. Wow. That's what you have to do to put it in bounds that far out there. With this headwind, yeah. <laughs> That's true, I mean. It's a good shot. It, it, it skips so much. That's about all. I think that's the layup though. If you do layup, I think the fly is good. I think it makes even more sense to go to go for the eagle. Holy cow. I love the tall grasses I have. Oh, so it can't skip back in bounds. That'd make it very difficult. A lot of people are going to play that light skip shot. <laughs> that's a better stability. Yeah. Nice. That Yuli one just stayed straight for so That's long. That's what happened to my Yuli one too. Just kind of flips up and and then no chance. Wait, or speaking maybe of Yuli, this there he is. He's the reason our forehands went OB. That's crazy. Oh. My foot kind of stuck there. Yeah, this kind of the layout play. It's this is a tough shot from here. That looks good. Ooh, Ooh okay. Perfect. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough shot. That is not an easy shot. It's another reason why I'm not a huge fan of the layup. I don't like the layup. The second shot's so hard. Yeah. Dang, that, does, that is the benefit of throwing that high speed disc, though. He's way past me. It's so bad. Yikes, dude. Oh, my gosh. I think the only reason to not go full of eagle on this is if it's bad wind. Or raining. And yeah. the tee pad's super slippery and people are breaking their clavicles. You don't like rain? I set fire to the rain. That's scary. Gooseman says that's scary. Yeah, it's scary for him because he knows I'm getting an eagle. And he doesn't want to lose two strokes. He doesn't want to lose three strokes to me because he just went OB. Wow. All I'm saying is it's OB right there at the wall. Yeah. If it never comes back. No, it's terrifying. Yeah. yeah. Landed within so scary. No, no. This is this is You're a good. Right. Right. I like I like this change though. A joke, this is a really good par five. It's a great par five. Yeah, there's so many options, different ways to attack it. All right, guys. Wait, was this this is mid range off the tee? Then mid Nico off the S. tee, then Nico S. Okay. Now Zono S. Oh. Throwing all the OSs on yep. one hole. Yep. So the layup play does work if you want a body. I guess. Oh, oh, oh. That's gonna be Schwab. No, it is OB completely surrounding this entire green, so it does also make the eagle a little bit more dangerous, especially like coming up short, it's even tighter than like actually at the basket. But we still got a chance, y'all, because I wasn't bounds. Hey. Hole 12, this is the same hole as last year, I think. But they might have moved, the, they moved the OB tighter, I believe, and they moved the basket a little bit too. Yeah, I think both are true. 375 feet, it's a high zone. You want to skip past the FPO basket and up to the basket. Pretty straightforward. Pretty much just acing the FPO basket is perfect. Acing the, yeah, it'd be great. And also, double mando. Which, I would say, you can't miss the double mando, but I've seen some crazy things in these last couple videos. <laughs> but there was one of those last week and you, it managed to happen somehow? Yep. Looks like that left to right wind is uh, prohibiting the disc from going left. Yeah, definitely almost have to give it a little bit extra height than usual and a little more stability. Yeah, I might, I might go machete. S. Yeah, I kind of like the Nuco S. I might go machete. I threw it out when it did walk out, but... Mm -hmm. That's going to be a little... Man, the, the step with the rocks messes up the Caden's path. Yeah, sounds like a postal problem though. It is a problem. Oh, really? oh! Made it? 
Nope, but I'm like 10 feet. Venom uh, Nuke OS. Let's see if, if somebody can get an actual Nuke OS. Oh, you want? I'll, I'll sneak it. Oop. Did it. Oh! Wow. Yeah, I gotcha. It's gonna be a painful loss for the for the venom. Dees, 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 dees. Short. Oh my god. Ooh, gosh. nice. Wow. Alright. Alright, Goose thinks he has a CTP. Let's find out. Oh, it's not even close. Not even close. He got me by 12 feet. Why does my Venom Nuke OS continue to fail me as a Nuke OS? Fail. It's almost like it's not an actual Nuke OS. <laughs> That's a good putt. Look at that determination, look at that focus. It's a scary man right there. Look at the white of my thighs. Oh. Can jam. Ah, oh. that's a tough one. He's not giving you the easiest ones. Hey, I think so too. But it's can jam, and that's how you play the game. <laughs> All right, they changed the hole up from last year. It's 415 feet par three now. Aww. So yeah, it's a it's a little disappointing because the old hole is really good, but it's a very similar tee shot. You have to throw over this creek here, fade to the left. The basket's maybe 50 feet behind the tree. You can see there and a little bit to the left. So you definitely want to clear the tree. So you want to be like, more, like of more of a stall, stall or a low skipper. I've seen both of those work pretty well. Um, doesn't play super far, so you throw in a Raptor or maybe a stall Nuke OS. Don't want to come up short. That's the thing you can't do. And then too far is also not good if you do go OB. Pretty simple hole. You say much, that. So. And that's yeah, how the cookie crumbles. I could go for a crumble cookie right now. It does. Can't tempt me with sweets. That's man. scary. Why? Because the tree. It's perfect. The shot. So wider. Um, here's the thing. That branch hanging out is over the OB. Okay. So, so if you if you go under it, you're fine, like you did. Yeah. But I think the best the, shot. I try to is, play the skip. It's past it. You like the stall more. I. Or if you're gonna go the skip, you want to go wide of it. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. So I'm gonna go. Yeah, that, that was a way different way of playing this hole than I did. It just gets past that branch, and then it like... Oh, you're in the circle there. It does push OB long, though. Is that possible? It is possible. I'm a ways away from OB. It's <laughs> a good shot, though, Brody. Hey, hey, thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Good shot. Okay. Yeah. Are you gonna come? Do you want us to? I kind of want to though. No, 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 can no, I? No. You're saying I, are you actually saying I can't or are you just No, I'm not giving you permission for it to. I don't actually have permission. To use my name and likeness on YouTube. I'm just kidding, you do oh, if God. you want. Hey! What's up, Ty? Hey, what's up, man? We can jack, eh? <gasps> but, hey, man, I uh, hit a PR on the bench, man. Let's go! 205. Hey! That's good. Can't just break? No. Hey, you're getting close to two, uh, four plates. Getting there. Nice. Although that felt like it was about to kill me, so. <laughs> Oh, Sticking with the off-season training? Yeah, I haven't been working out, just in case you guys are running. <laughs> I'm just naturally like this. <laughs> Dude, some people are just blessed, skinny, you know? Exactly. Some people are just lucky, some people just have it, Yeah. you know? It's pretty clean. It's a wild sound. You don't want to talk, Goose. It's louder than mine. You guys should have a snap-off. Comment below who you think had a loud snap. Silas' shot, well, the... Oh, that was a higher pitch. That's level two. Yeah, yeah it was a little more feminine. Why is that? Right. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> I don't even know what to throw. I've seen so many shots. I feel like I've already practiced this whole vicariously through well, you guys. Well, throw the, throw the turnover forehand option. Show the people. <laughs> so you have a this I can throw? Show the people what happens if you're lefty. <sighs> what we really want to see is how Chandler Kramer's going to play this hole. I mean, no offense to the guy, but I don't really want to see that, I don't think. That'd be I wild. See it. I have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> Actually, that would be interesting. He'd probably go layup. layup short or layup like way right. It's not even an easy layup. Oh, layup short here. It's pretty wide, Goose. Oh, that's long. <sighs> I 
feel like it's too easy to go be long with a high-speed driver. What? You have to throw it, yeah, huh? What? You have to throw it so Just stall it. That was spew it, if anyone was wondering. All right. Trash. I think Fall I'm done. Out. 25 feet on the duck. Yep. Pretty good shot. The OB is fuller back than I thought it was. Close to a slow for one. Oh, what a putt. All right, well, you guys get the idea. I missed the old par five. <laughs> I mean, it's really sad when you change a par five to a par three. It makes me kind of sick. And you guys don't know and probably never would, but they used to have the tee box on this hole like 75 feet full of back of what it is now as like a mistake, I guess. And that was a sick hole. Cause that was like a full, that was like a full nuke highs off to this basket. That was sick. But then I guess it was a mistake. So they had to move it to where it is now. On to the next hole. Hole 14, another woods hole. So they definitely added a few already. So this is like the fourth woods hole. They kind of changed. I would say this is half though. I would half? give this one half because you go like a woods shot right. into an open shot. Yep. And the I do like it open. when they do that. They go yeah. the other, vice versa. Like I, I think this is actually a solid hole. Into the woods. Yeah, you've got kind of two gaps. Too. Got left gap here, which kind of you throw a straight shot. And there's also this yeah, right gap, which you can throw a high are. They're kind of trying to get to the same yeah. spot. Trying to get basically to the end of the woods and then have an upshot up to the uh, kind of a mound green, which I guess we'll see here in a second. Throwing a lot of forehands today, Goose. I know, man. I mean, it wasn't really the gap I was aiming for, but it worked out great. <laughs> How far do I want to throw this? As far as you can with that disc. 300. Yep. Oh. Man. That could have been. Imagine hitting that tree. Mm. Amateur move to not sneak left Amateur of it. Amateur not to sneak left of it. Dang it, that could have been nice. I am goss, goss, I've seen enough of it. I've seen it as much as I can handle those low, <laughs> thrown into the ground, buzz OS that skip forever, perfectly. Maybe I need to change my stance on it. I think you're missing the shot and like hitting low and like missing low, it's actually perfect. So I'm, I'm just wrong, it's fine. I kind of like this, this, this right gap worked out well, last time I tried it. I'm gonna try to throw one like hole four at Waco. Oh, perfect. wow. Perfect. Yeah, that's, that's very <sighs> that might be the, that might be the uh, ideal try. route, honestly. <laughs> I've also had good luck going straight at it with the left side with this passion too, though. Yeah, Throwing a lot of shots in this hole, but I don't know what to throw. I mean, obviously it's just hard, it's tough to make a decision out here. Was this a passion forehand? Yeah. It was? Wow. Yeah. Is that in my least favorite Sarah bunker Jeff. ever? Yep. Ooh. I think most part of me just wants to throw a forehand. There is OB past the basket, but it's like outside of the circle. That's going to be perfect. Like that's what these I want to do. These guys this basket. Just chuck it into a hill. Wow, these guys look good. You want me to make it for you? Please. Make it in this sand trap. Oh, no. That's too high. Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah, the it is. Are crazy it is situation. Crazy situation. Hole 15, 345 foot. Hole three, we got an OB golf green right of the basket. OB woods left and long of the basket. I think the ideal play is a forehand skipping over this. What is that, a golf tee box? Tee box, I think. This mound past those trees, then skip up to the basket. The backhand turnover turn does work too, but the way the green is sloped right to left makes it pretty difficult to hold. Forehand right at it, you guys don't like it? Like a you flip can, up you forehand? Can do, you can do that too, but I feel like the way these trees- slow coming into the green too. Mm. That's true, yeah. And also the way these trees are right off the tee box kind of makes dicey. the right side closed off, yeah. Yeah, a little dicey. It does roll off that hill sometimes. Well, just put it nice and wide, good bit of spin, just around the trees. No, just between them. Did I say that? In the, did I miss that in the whole intro? Did you go? You between want to go between them? the two trees? Yeah. Between the two trees. Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. You got to aim for that kind of stuff. That's sick, dude. Thank you so much. It's taking a lot of practice to get this good. See? Oh! <laughs> you got to practice. Well, he hasn't been throwing flies all day, so what can you expect? I'm gonna go nuke OS. I don't know if, if I can even get this now. I couldn't. Oh, it's perfect. It's just short of it. Mark City. Wow. Yeah, just do that, dude. You, gotta you know it. you can't throw it far enough to get Sling past them. the trees. All right. 
I'll throw one more, even though my arm's gonna hurt. He's claiming the arm is gonna hurt here, folks. Not sure what kind of skip I'll get. Oh, massive one. I don't really wanna be past the pin though. I almost wanna skip in front of those trees. If you land short of the green, like starting to drop off, you, you should get like a straight skip, but. That's a pretty shot. That right to left is tough. Yeah, it is. Between it, between it. Oh, okay. That's a good shot. It's too far. Two out of three is not bad, Goose. We almost almost had the trio through that gap. <laughs> Machete? Yeah. It's a big machete. Wow. All right, we got the green. Head OB scratcher. long path. Roll, roll away potential is pretty high. You want me to do a test? Yeah, let's see, let's see, it. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. Hmm. All right. Uh, That's scary. Not bad, not bad. You don't want to see that though, yeah. Can't really see anything from the uh, camera angle, unfortunately. But so hole sad. 16 is 375 foot. Paul 3 around the curve of the trees to the basket. Sand traps. It's kind of surrounding the green. It's a pretty straightforward sidearm hole. See, I think you uh, didn't think you saw it off enough. See, like I saw it off too much. No, you think so. I think I'm too far right. Too much saw. I think, so. I think the, main, really? the main problem with that shot is I didn't throw it far enough. Okay, it might be. I'm I should have gone with 20, 24, 12, see what you think. Oh, that's oh, good height. Good. That's good height. Did he, did he saw it off enough, you think? I don't know. Can't see anything. Ooh. Bunker or parked? That's going to be good. That got a really good skip, too. So I might even be right at the basket. That's awesome, man. That brings a teardrop to my guitar. What? Actually, I'm gonna go that too. Let's just, yeah. Icing mind? me. Yeah, you I'm mind? getting absolutely <laughs> iced. I'm sorry. It's a great shot. 25 feet short. Short? Yo, pin high, pin high right. Maybe a little bit, maybe five, 10 feet short. What about that one? Short right. It's it's short, I think. Oh, the roll! It landed outside the circle, short left. Rolled outside the circle. Yeah, that was, that was nose up. We did have three shots end up right at the basket, which is actually kind of impressive. Uh, well, everyone was talking about saw, saw. And it's like, all right, man. It was a good movie right, like ten years ago. I still haven't seen it, and I kind of want to. Which there's like twelve of them. Well, I got a lot of catching up to do then. Yeah, you do. Oh man. Oh. Yeah, I'll enter this one. Nice. You got a little snaky snake. Ooh. Snaky left Eww. and then a snaky right. It is a par three for the men, par four for the ladies. Mm. They play a, they play a t, uh, they basket. They go to the elevated basket. Yeah, they go to the baskets way out right there. there. Oh, there and this is a, um, you better be able to throw a flex backhand shot. Yeah. Or you're dead. You all dead. I will say, I love, like, as far as woods go. Please say. This is my favorite style of woods golf where it's like completely defined the entire way. And there's really no like spindly little trees that shouldn't exist that do exist. So it's like actually, you have a defined, it's like park style disc golf where you have a defined floor the entire way, you have to throw a shape. And I would love it if every single woods hole out here was exactly like this. And Talk every to me. woods hole on tour was like this actually, where they clean out the entire floor. Talk to me. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little spindly trees directly in front of the basket. Well, those are on the green. Tough to say, Dad. Tough to buy. Those are on the green, green though, not the fairway. Oh, okay. So I think what I said is still true, but I wouldn't mind cleaning those up too. I would cut those down, but uh, you have nine. This is ninety-eight percent of the way. It's like, <laughs> Brody doesn't like it. Ooh, oh man. Yikes! Dead. I think. I yeah, think, I'm dead. I'm dead there, boys. I think Fountain was dead. Boys, dead. Oh, you should have died. Wow. That man knows how to throw a buzz OS. Adam Hambone. Hey guys, Whoa. what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I think that's the point. Beautiful shot.
shot, bro. Thank you. First one was mid, dead. It's tough to get a mid all the way to the basket. I, I yeah, oh, like. yeah, unless you're this guy. Uh -oh. Psycho man. Goss. Such a goss throw. What if, it, what if it's just like a, a Crystal Passion hard flat? I do kind of like the Passion. Yeah, it doesn't open the fairway up as much as the small stable disc, but it's still good. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's a putt. <laughs> that is the best shot I've ever seen on this hole. I would love Woods Golf if this was Woods Golf. I've only golf. seen four shots. Check this out, guys. Oh, look at this. Ezra Aderhold, PSA hey. 10. Hey, look, that's that guy. Sports calls, baby. Those are super cool. Look at that, into that's now. you, like, man. That's you. you, bro. That is sick. Oh, that's, that's actually you. super cool, yeah. Yeah, come on, man. Respect <laughs> A train calls. <laughs> we just let this seven sum play through us. You know we're playing fast and we have to let seven people play through on one call. Yes, he's known for making these putts. Oh my god. Captain, oh captain. Oh man. Final hole, hey, we made it. Hey, we got here. Um, 18. I think this is a, actually a great hole. It's got a pretty well defined fairway the whole way down. 685 feet, par four. Really good finishing hole. These last few are not like spectacular stroke separators at the end of the day. So I think this is a really solid final hole. Um, I think most players are playing a backhand, like mid or fairway, just trying to land in the center. <laughs> um, and then throw in some kind of like touchy left to right moving up shot. But the biggest thing is there is OB on both sides and some pretty rough stuff. So just don't miss your line. Buzz OS, huh? Buzz OS, man. I'm really inter just interested to see how this OB on the left got changed. Cause it's gonna affect the hole I think a lot. Oh, just Take it. Safe. Good stop, good stop. Hey, thanks. A little more stable, that's solid. Nice. But we'll see if it's okay. Yeah, that was pushing OB before, but that's definitely safe now. Yeah. The goose skip. Oh. Wow. How you feel? No. Oh no. Let me throw one more. Let me throw one more. Everyone calm down. I'm not calm at all. Everyone calm down. Throw one more. Last throw of the day. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> what a gap. I think that would have been pretty good if it was a little more stable. Thank you. I think you're gonna like that. I don't know if it's gonna fade enough. Now, why do I feel like I'm about to puke? Oh, why so high though? Why can't I just throw it while I'm trying to aim? <laughs> Perfect, <laughs> fair way. <laughs> Yeah, go, right, go, let's, let's get it. Let's Celebrity shot, here we go. Oh, here we go. Celebrity shot. Gordy's caddy. Oh, it's so I, yeah, easy. I was going to say, like, I feel like we've been doing a good enough job of that ourselves. But Look at that. Fresh, that's fantastic. Fresh first shot of the day. Nice shot. Easy. Yeah, so guys, they used to have the OB. Well, let's, I'll let you throw this and talk about it. All right. You broke perfectly. That was... Woo! Jeez, that's really good. Yeah, that's the zone. <laughs> Forehand, flip up guy. Okay. Get right, work right. So they used to have this OB line you can see back here, going the whole length of the fairway right on the edge. Um, and now they moved it way back into the woods so that you can scramble out of this rough here. I'm not a big fan of it myself. I think that, um, Number one thing is it uh, helps people that have right hand back end, which is almost every player. You know, there's like, oh, now you can just like skip one into the rough and you're okay. But um, instead, yeah, like beforehand, you had to actually hit the fairway right. either direction. I feel like you'd have a lot of people throwing like a mid range before just to make sure they don't get the skip too. So like now I think people are gonna probably blast like a fairway drive or even a distance drive or try to get as much distance as possible. And if they, if they do trickle into the rough, they can probably still scramble out, maybe get body. So I don't love the change. I don't and love that they changed it two it, days before the event either, but yeah. that's it, kind of the It brings on. in more luck too, man. If, you, if right. you skip to a spot that's like, oh, I can actually scramble from here, or you skip in, hit a tree, kick back out. I mean, there's a lot of things that can go on right. where you're just kind of bringing in a little bit more luck, I feel like, versus, you know, it's very low luck when you just put an OB line there. Right. We've been talking about this kind of all week too, about having OB in the woods, and it might be actually kind of what, what, what woods golf needs, because it does kind of limit some of that, uh, that 
flukiness, I guess, of the kick. So I don't know. It's kind of an interesting one, but... It would at least make players throw smarter shots. Right. It's still a good hole 18, but I think I liked it previously when they had the OB kind of white on the line. You had to land on this nail fairway, but we'll see how it plays. Thanks. I didn't turn it. What's that? That's in Safe. bad place. Thank you, Brody. I don't think I turned it. Here's a great example right here. I've been throwing Buzz OS off the tee, but that's my Raptor right there. And that would be OB. Yeah, but now you've got a... But now it's it's a perfectly advanced. fine shot, so it's like, why not just throw a little more stable disc, throw a little safer shot. And, and maybe they want people to be more aggressive. Maybe that's probably why they did it. They want to see people push the distance more, so they get more bodies. I don't know. It's coming at you, Brody! Good shot. That's baby. All right, that's gonna do it here at the open at Austin. I think I like Lashell's course a lot better. I think I was one of the few people who did, so I understand why they had to make a lot of changes. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this course, how it compared to Lashell, if you remember that course. Um, and then hopefully we can even play this event at all because it's supposed to be thunderstorming all weekend. So wish, wish us luck with the weather and then hopefully tune into DGN. But thank you guys for watching. Thanks to Brody for, thanks for everyone for joining us with the insight. I'm sure people love that. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video in Houston, Texas. Peace.